Well, it's that time of year when the folks in Sawyer, New Hampshire, lock up their automobiles when they go to town. Not, as the old story goes, because they think anybody will steal anything, but rather to keep people from putting zucchini in their cars. My friend Binky Sears has a vegetable garden, as you know. Monday, just before leaving to go to the Buckberger Dollar Dog for coffee, Binky created a sales display. He got a piece of drywall and a paintbrush, and in bold black letters, he painted free, take, it said without an exclamation point. And then Binky put a white towel over the seat of that bright red Adirondack chair on his front porch, and he made a pile of zucchini. It was a masterpiece. The sign just homemade enough to attract attention. Binky then drove down the Buckenberger to meet his friends. Webster Webster and Luther Pomeroy were already seated when he got there. Binky ordered a Joe and a plain donut. And then Rusty Fenderson sat down at the table. I just came by your house, Rusty said. Those new people from Connecticut were on your porch pinching your zucchini. The Clancy's, I think. They're the ones that bought the Flugel place. Binky smiled. It was working. Later, when he got home, however, he did not smile. Yes, all his zucchini was gone, but so was his lovely Adirondack chair. Those damn Connecticut outsiders stole our chair, Binky told Fern as he slammed the door of his car and headed out to where they lived. Mrs. Clancy, Deirdre, came to the door. Where's my chair? What, 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 what chair? The one with the zucchini on it? Well, I don't know was there when I left. I folded the towel up and put the sign back where it was. You did, facing the street? Yes. The sign that said free take? Yes. On the way back home, as Binky drove past Bunny Fuller's, he couldn't miss the new bright red Adirondack chair on Bunny's porch, and with a sigh, Binky pulled into the Fuller driveway. 